That's it. <laughs> Darren, so nice to see you. You went viral on Snapchat <laughs> with your reaction to the draw when yeah. you saw that you're playing Rafa. Yeah. What was your reaction? Well, my reaction was just like, like I was in the gym, you know, I was just doing like you know, mobility before before my practice. And then my coach like looks at his phone and he goes like this. I'm like, what's going on? And then he's like, oh, my, you play Rafa? I was like, no way, no way. And I saw it and I just posted like on my Snapchat story like this. But <laughs> it was meant for like just for my friends. But I don't know how it, I guess one of them took a screenshot or something. I don't know. It just went, it ended up going viral. So, yeah. yeah. Is, is it a dream come true? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's a, it's a big dream, you know, to like, I didn't expect to be playing Rafa before, you know, like maybe. I don't know how much he has left, but it's like a huge honor to like be able to play Rafa, especially of how big uh, he's, he, what he's done in this sport. So it's obviously really good. Um, how do you prepare to play someone like that? Someone who's hardly lost a match in his career on clay? Well, I mean, I'm just, my objective is just, you know, just to go out and enjoy every moment, especially at this age, you know, like I think I'm just gonna, you know, just go out, do my best and, you know, enjoy every moment because it's definitely going to be a moment I'm going to cherish for the rest of my life, for sure. Uh, what year were you born? 2007. Because I think by the time you were born, Rafa had already <laughs> won three French Opens. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, saw, I think I saw that by uh, Roland Garros posted something or something. But yeah, so when I was born here, he was already up there. Is it kind of funny to think that Rafa is more than twice your age? I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it is pretty, it's pretty funny, but like, I mean, when I was young, I was already watching him on the TV, so it's like pretty crazy that I'm about to play him, you know, here in this big tournament, so, you know, it's a, obviously I'm really looking forward to it. What elements of his game inspired you? Well, I mean, in his forehand, definitely, you know, when I was young, I used to go like this, with the forehand like he does. Yeah. I don't anymore, but when I was young, I would almost hit all my forehands just like him like this. I ended up changing it, but but yeah, obviously his forehand the most and his fighting for sure. So you did the forehand. Did you do the grunt? Yeah, I did. The, I mean, I did my own grunt. I didn't really try to copy his, but the forehand was the exact same. Like everyone was like Nadal, Nadal, Nadal. <laughs> did you do the vamos at the end? Yeah, I did. I did. No way. <laughs> I did. I did. <laughs> do you still do it? Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> Your first ATP match was in Miami this year. Yeah. What was that experience like? Because you also played on a big court. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's until now, it's been the best experience I've had for sure. Um, maybe when I play Rafa, it'll be the second best experience. But it was obviously really, really good. Um, I learned a lot of things for sure. You know, it definitely, it was really fun and everything, the whole experience. So I was really, you know, it's a moment I was proud of myself. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I'm ready. Uh, how would you describe yourself as a player? What, what are your strengths, but also your ambitions? Well, I think my strengths, I would say, is probably, you know, my serve and my forehand. I think it's definitely, you know, my best shots that give me a lot of more free points. And, you know, obviously my ambition is just, you know, just try to get the, the best I can in this sport. You know, just trying to get, to hopefully I can get top 10 in the world someday, you know, like win a lot of titles. So that's obviously the, the goal for now, like in my head. And you've got such an interesting story because you've lived all over the world. Um, you speak several languages as well. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, I mean, I mostly, you know, I lived in a lot of parts of the world, dude, probably to my dad's job. Like when he used to work for Coca-Cola, I lived in Thailand, in Argentina and everywhere, Taiwan, the U.S., so like everywhere. Um, but yeah, on the languages, you know, my, my mom taught me Chinese, my dad Spanish, you know, most of my Spanish, um, family Spanish. So, and Thai, I just got it when, when I was in Thailand. And it's, just, yeah, just, just got it. <laughs> so yeah, basically just, you know, just it's been a wild childhood, let's say, but it was really fun for sure. Yeah, you just picked it up, like yeah, you I just, just pick things up. Like yeah, that. for sure. <laughs> <laughs> What's your nickname? Do you have a nickname? I don't. They used to call me a rat because I, for the, you know, when the your teeth falls out and the rat comes, like the supposedly they take your teeth, you know, the tooth fairy. Yeah. But they in Spain they say it's a rat, and I wrote a letter once. And for the for the tooth fairy, and I showed everyone. I was like, look, look, look at the letter I wrote, and everyone started calling me. But it's been a while since they called me that. But for for now, I don't have probably Ben. I would say, yeah. Everyone thinks I look like Ben Shelton, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone. You so. get that a lot. Crazy everywhere, everywhere I go. Ben Shelton, Ben Shelton, Ben Shelton. <laughs> it's crazy. Let's just confirm you're not Ben Shelton. No, I'm not Ben Shelton, <laughs> <laughs> but everyone thinks I am. <laughs> okay. Well, good luck and enjoy it. Yeah, thank you. Have Appreciate a great it. time out Thank there. you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs>